All right, so the Donald in town last night. Now, here's somebody who has no problem ever speaking out or speaking his mind. And last night, he had the chance to do so with our own Emily Miller. And she joins us with what happened last night. You were able to nail the exclusive. I am. Yeah. Hey, so I can use a teleprompter now. You can. Right ahead. What's, what's <laughs> you answer, you? What does the hair look like up close? Did you find yourself oh, looking at this. the hair? He does that. So I'm you can see it's, it's totally real. real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I like his hair. Did you have to yeah. ask for that? <laughs> like or did everything you just about do Donald that? Trump. <laughs> Did he yeah. just do that like on his own? Like, yeah, look at the hair. Or did you have to prompt him to do the hair? Personally, I don't ask him hair questions. Right. That's we safe. ask serious yeah. political questions. So it was questions. an unsolicited, yes. this is in real the hair. In the speech, he mentioned his hair, and he did one of these to the crowd to okay. show it's all his. And he <laughs> says he's no longer self-conscious about people thinking it's not his hair. It's all his. Oh, that's good. He says all he's right. been combing it that way for years. He's very confident. You know, yeah. yeah, he does yeah. not lack confidence. <laughs> no, that's true. That's about Donald Trump. Not at all. <laughs> all right, well. Now I'm going to use the teleprompter. Okay. okay. Right? Okay, <laughs> good. Well, last night, Donald Trump told the audience he is seriously considering running for president in 2016 and that he is going to decide by May. Well, afterwards, when we sat down for our one-on-one, -on -one, I asked him his opinion of the, all those possible opponents for the White House. His responses were typical Trump, direct, unfiltered, and, of course, he had to negotiate with me over the answers. Watch this. I'm going to tell you all the sort of names of people who could run in 2016, I promise. Last okay. question. Give me one more of what you think of when I say their names. Well, so maybe I'd do more them. than one word. I never like one word. I didn't think you were sure if you were going to go for yeah, this. Yeah, but, but I'll do it. But, uh, but let's do more than one word. Is that OK? Sentence? A I'm sentence. negotiating. Yeah, one sentence is good. You just said that in there. We okay. need to learn to negotiate. One sentence is OK. okay. You'll negotiate. Hillary. Um, know her well. Not going to be as easy as people think for her to get the nomination. All right. Jeb. Bush. The last thing we need is another Bush. There you go. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. Has really come on strong with her group of people, the mm -hmm. liberals, and I think she's going to, if she runs, be a very formidable uh, opponent for Hillary. Right. I think it's going to be very tough for Hillary. I think Hillary's favored, but it's not going to be easy. That's three sentences. We're getting back. <laughs> okay. Mitt Romney, take three. Uh, Mitt lost the last time. He should have won. He should not run again. Joe Biden. I just don't hear him being mentioned anymore. I actually like him as a person. I just don't hear his name being mentioned right now in this group of people. Chris Christie. Uh, he's got to get rid of his difficulties. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a story the other day that it continues to go on. He's a friend of mine. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. And I hope all of that stuff disappears soon. Ted Cruz. Well, I like him. Another one I like. I mean, most of these people are friends of mine, uh -huh. and I see that. But, you know, Ted Cruz has said he was born in Canada, and if you say you're born in a you know, different country, in theory, you're not supposed to be able to run. So I think that's a real obstacle for him. Rand Paul. Uh, I know him. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been with him. I like him. He's got some very common sense positions, and I think he also will be formidable. Ben Carson. Another one. I think he's going to do well. He's got a certain group of people that really swear by him. Mm -hmm. uh, smart guy, good guy, uh, sit with him a lot and know him. Uh, I think he's a very good guy. Donald Trump. I've always succeeded at what I wanted to do. And what I really want to do now more than anything else is make this country great again. That's perfect. In one okay. sentence. Well, on another topic during this interview last night, I told Trump, I asked people on Twitter and Facebook what they wanted me to ask him. Now, several people asked me, is he buying the Redskins? Here's his answer. Well, the owner, Dan, is a really trying hard, and he's a friend of mine. He's a member of my club, Trump National, and as you know, in Loudoun County. Uh, and they're in there really pitching, and they'll get it turned around. No, I, it wouldn't be for me. Okay. But I think you have somebody that really is trying hard. Okay. And speaking of your boss. Guys, do you agree that Dan Snyder's going to turn it around? Uh, oh. I, mm. I agree that he's not going to sell the Redskins. Yeah. So I don't think Donald Trump or anybody's well, going to yeah, take Donald that Trump's team really off of his hands. Donald Trump's really trying to buy an NFL team. That's where this question came from. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. they're hoping that he would buy the Redskins. Dan Snyder would cede and say, I give up and run. <laughs> I think he could also find a team that's a better value because he's all about turning profits. Yep. And the Redskins are very highly valued right now. So. Yeah, well, there was a lot of conflict last night in our newsroom when I said Donald Trump says that Dan Snyder's going to turn around the Redskins. Yeah. He doesn't know anything about football. What does he know? <laughs> yeah. He knows about making money. Know. Right. So, yeah. You don't uh, have to. Yeah. I was trying to keep track mm -hmm. of your little questions, your little one-sentence uh, responses. Now, by my unofficial track here, Ted Cruz got five sentences as a uh, response, which I think is the longest. Good. But Chris yeah. got in my ear and confused me a little bit, so I might have lost track there. But I had Ted Cruz at five, Chris Christie at three. 
couple at, uh, or at four, a couple at three. Um, but the only ones that he actually answered in one sentence uh -huh. was about himself <laughs> and about Jeb Bush. And by the way, Jeb Bush has announced now that he is going to explore this run in 2016. According right. to the Associated Press, that's just coming down. So, and and mm -hmm. and of course, Donald Trump said we don't need another Bush. Yeah, he did. So uh, right. those two probably. Short and to I the point. I don't think it's coincidental that he said that as Donald Trump is seriously considering mm -hmm. a run yep. again. Emily, I know this was a serious interview, but did he seem like he had a sense of humor? He seemed kind of serious. Well, I've interviewed him a lot, and he is just, he is so different than the persona. He's a very yeah. warm person, um, very um, engaging in you personally, um, always asking me all this about my, my career and notices things, and so, yeah, he really is very warm. He has a good sense of humor. I mean, you saw the whole thing with one word, one sentence, yeah. you know. I know yeah. What would you have asked him? One question, go. Oh God, no! I want to know who you know. I, questions like who he's sleeping with. Aside from oh, I, I, I don't want to know. No, that. No, I don't want to picture. I, I, let's let's I clarify cannot, that he's sleeping with his wife Melania, who he's very loyal to. <laughs>